it's good to be back. Wow! So much has happened since we last spoke. Dizzy. Jason, Kevin, Jake, and myself went into the wilderness for the last few days. Production. Part of many colors. The Lord had prompted me to invite these guys into an encounter. Let me tell you something. Jesus did not disappoint. We hiked, prayed, worshipped, read the word, studied together, and ultimately we were met by Jesus. But uh, you're going to have to wait for the specifics on what he said until May because that's part of the next series, uh, you know, the one that I'll post up over here, Making a Documentary, where you can find all of the behind the scenes on what, it, what went into making Heart of Many Colors, which is, spoiler alert, not a documentary. It's more like an evangelism training series, but you can catch up on that by hitting the link below. Or fast forward to the video that says making a documentary. That'll launch you off into the making the documentary series. If you can't wait until May, I'm sure that the revelation that we experienced and encountered in the desert will start seeping out of our pores pretty soon. Because man doesn't live on bread alone. He doesn't live by bread alone, but he lives on every word that proceeds forth from the mouth of God. And his word has come into our hearts is already seeping out of our pores. So if you stick around for a few days, you're probably gonna hear some of the revelation that he deposited in our hearts in that time. It's awesome. Auto track, come on. Just because I'm wearing a hat, new hat by the way, Lincolnville Country Store, not sponsored. <laughs> As if my little bitty YouTube channel would be sponsored by somebody. Sponsored by Lingleville Country Store. Grab a coffee, man best coffee. Over here, face tracker. Hello, hi. What was I talking about? Man doesn't live by bread alone. Man lives by every word that proceeds forth from the mouth of God. And that word is sustaining me right now. I've been living on the word that he has revealed and it is shaping me. I'm looking forward to sharing some of the words that God's placed on our hearts and diving into the videos that I missed on Joshua Verwer's channel. If you haven't seen any of his videos, Videos, now's the time. He helps you with a little bit of information and a little bit of inspiration to help you live by faith. Check him out. And that reminds me, being away with the Lord and having some time to think, ponder, and pray, I really got a chance to dig in deep and find some good questions. Part of this pastor's vlog series is he and I asking pressing like deep questions to another pastor that maybe one of you might not feel comfortable asking a pastor. And so we fire back and forth and answer one another's questions. And as I was climbing up all of these mountains, as I was hiking around, not one step of climbing was easy. Not one bit of it was pleasant, but the outcome was growing and stretching and brought glory to the Lord. Joshua, what is one season of your life that was so incredibly challenging that you, I mean, you borderline hated it. It was so painful. It was either a trip up or, a, you know, hey, what was that season? And part two, if, if I could, what was the fruit? What was the good that God squeezed out of that time? That's my question for the day. What was the most challenging season of your life? Can't wait to find out. I love multiple part questions. One question nine parts okay guys don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video hit subscribe if you aren't already and i'll see you tomorrow at 8 a.m where i find out what question joshua asked for me today and he gets to find out what question we asked him join in on the pastor's vlog it's gonna be a fun ride and lord willing at the end of this process you will taste and see the extravagant love of god i love you and i'm out Let's get it rolling. See if we've got a got a. Let's see if we've got a got a trial run ready for you. Got a fryer. What is it? Okay, guys, don't forget to hit the like bucket. Bucket. And we're not doing auto track. <laughs> gotta be a new. There's gotta be a new outro sequence. I can't be smashing my lens anymore. I'm out. Ksh -ksh. Ksh -ksh.